Hey everybody, this is Beach Ray 20. What you see here today, we have the Triumphs Smart 5. It does 5,000 watts rated power at 1 ohm and 2 ohms. We're going to test this on my system SPL meter and clap to the two SCAR Audio VXF 12s um, at 1 ohm. I'm going to compare it to I did a test of the Soundstream TXP that you see over there in the corner, the 18,000 at 1 ohm. I did a test of the Soundstream XXX 15,000 watt amplifier at 1 ohm to the, to the pair of SCARs. And I also did a test of the JP, the Down for Sound JP83 at 1 ohm as well. So today, we're going to be testing this Tariamp Smart 5 to see what it does. I got the 45 amp hour of C-Max and a 400 amp alternator from Autotech Engineering charging that up and right now just like the other amplifiers I'm testing for AC voltage output the max I can get out of the amplifier clean so I got the SMD DD1 distortion detector and my AC clamp meter true RMS meter I'm going to be I got my sound stream head unit, the VRCPAA106F, same unit that I've been rocking before. I just never really told or set the model, but um, I got the SPL Labs USB that I'm going to be using because that's the USB that came with the meter. I'm going to tune the amplifier with it as well as use that to uh, do the SPL meter and clamp results. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna show the settings, and I'm gonna give it a little. Uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about this amplifier because I noticed this one's a little different from the others, and I see why a lot of people make mistakes. So first and foremost, at volume 48 tuned, I have to have it at negative two for my silver for output. It goes all the way down to negative 10 up to plus 10. Now with my with the JP83, with my Soundstream XXX15000, and the even the Soundstream TXP full bridge amplifier, um, they were all able to go to subwoofer level zero at volume 48 out of 50. Once I put this one at volume 48 with this Smart 5, it instantly clipped. Uh, it was distorted instantly. I couldn't even barely turn off the bass knob and it distorted. So I have to go to negative two to clean the signal up. So I'm, a lot of people make mistakes because they treat these amplifiers like every other amplifier. This amplifier from the manufacturer states that it doesn't like anything more than four volts through the RCAs. So if you're already giving it over the rated voltage through the RCAs, it's gonna instantly distort. So that's the thing. You have to make sure you have these things safely ran through the RCAs first. Once the signal goes in clean, it's going to come out clean. And these amplifiers do not like dirty power. They're not like Chinese amplifiers or most Korean amplifiers that can take a little bit of dirty input and give you some, um, it might be a clip signal, but still give you more output. These amplifiers will pop. So just be careful. If they're tuned correctly, they can last you a very long time. With that being said, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what's going on. I'm at volume 48, and as you see, I'm at 40 hertz. I'm gonna go ahead and play the tone. And I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. So, I got the LC1 bass knob, same as my previous videos and testings, but this time, I took out the Audio Research RCAs and I doubled up on the SCAR Audio RCAs. The only difference that I made with my application set aside from the amplifier. So right now, as you see, volume, we don't have no output, but now there's a signal for 40 Hertz. And right now we're getting just slightly output. So I'm going up on the bass knob and as I go up on the bass knob, you see the, the clamp meter is also rising in output, voltage output. 
AC voltage output to be precise. But you see, even at negative two, it's right here. And we're getting 83.8. I notice if I go any higher, but you see, no distortion. 83.8. Now, if we go to my head unit, even though the head unit doesn't have any the system doesn't have any distortion at negative two. Let's see what happens when we go to negative one. Negative one instead, playing the tone. I got it on repeat. Distortion immediately. And it jumped up to 91.7. So you gotta be aware with these amps, man. You gotta be really careful. They don't like a whole lot of output or input through the RCAs. So I'm gonna go back to negative two. Start the track over, play the track. Now we're clean back at the 83.8 so you just got to be aware when tuning these terms uh, they don't like a lot that those those gains turned up a lot to the max they don't need to be but another thing on that uh, not to keep you guys here too long too much longer when I noticed this these uh that gain man oh man you seen I had 83.5 volts of output max clean with no distortion you can have it all the way. You can have it going by the clip light on, on the amp. You can turn it up to you see clipping and then back it off. You can go from that 83 volts all the way down to 70 volts thinking that you got your max clean. And that's not the case. You could be really selling yourself short on a lot of power. Then you can go from that 71 all the way up to 116 in an instant just by a slight touch so you gotta be real these are real finicky that's what I don't like about these these knobs it's cool that you can turn it up and down with, with your, your, your hands but they're so finicky and they don't like vibration either that's why a lot of people put hot glue on them because when that bass gets to rumbling those those gains do too and another thing that's wild is this smart five I don't I like the fact that it does five th rated power at one ohm and two ohm and my system rises to about two point around two ohms to 2.5 ohms so that means I should be getting more power out of this amp than I tested out of the, the, that amp at one ohm rising to 2.5 only thing is even though it says 18,000 watts on that Soundstream TSP for around $350 I was able to get 89 to 90 volts of, outs, of uh, output clean this one right here is only doing like 83. Cost about $450, an extra $100 or more. But, you know, people give Soundstream crap for whatever reason. But that's not what this is all about. Stay tuned for more. Next video, we're going to go ahead and uh, see what that 83.5 equates to on the meter. So stay tuned. As always, peace and love. Thanks for watching.